Shenanigans, working stiffer than mannequins. Vader time like a mannequin. Mega powers, I'm savage and peep the babbling. Got him shook off the verbal acumen. I'm the main event, meaning nobody coming after him. The topics we be tackling, ankle locking and tapping them. I hate seafood, but I might throw the Boston crab on him. Uh, you know sometimes it gets heated. Uh, you know sometimes it gets heated. Well, Scar, everybody, and welcome back to Heated Shenanigans Podcast. You got the boys here, Chase, oh, Mike, boys. and Scott, and we are fresh off of Sting's final match in which, AEW. Which they did not promote. Sting's last match, if you guys We were surprised. It. We were so surprised. It came so, I said, what's the main event? And I said, Sting's last match. I said, Sting from TNA? That Sting? The no. guy that used to wrestle in WCW? No, Sting the singer. Oh, oh from the police. Sting. Yeah, that guy. No. Oh, okay. You want to know what the worst thing about a scorpion is? The Dang. Sting. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, this isn't a full uh, pay-per-view review. We are reviewing the last match of one Sting. Um, dude, such a <laughs> sick match, man. How did you feel about it, honestly? Let's just, you know, before we break Scott it down. Scott cried a little. I, I'll be honest, I almost did. Shut was up. it the package that got you? or? Um, I think it was the, the audience that got me, like, just. Yeah, seeing their reaction. Yeah. They were so into it. And absolutely. We're gonna do another video discussing the WWE and TNA not really cooperating with uh AEW on this. But for right now, for what it was, look, as somebody that's followed this man's entire career, literally my entire life, it, it was nice to see him get the send-off that he deserved because a few years ago, we didn't think this was going to happen. That yeah. that horrible match with Seth Rollins, yeah. Sting lying there, not able to move. We thought he was paralyzed. Fast forward now to Greensboro, a phenomenal match. But I I can't get the image of what happened to Darby Allen out of my oh head. Oh my god, Darby killed himself like he always does. Right. And I, we've seen glass spots in wrestling before, but my god, oh, look like a cheese grater. Bad. My yeah. man climbed about halfway up, about an eighteen foot ladder. Or let's, so let's break this. And let's let's break this match down, and we'll get to Sting's break part. Break it down. So, uh, uh, so first out comes Flair. He's there. Good pop. They're in Greensboro. Uh, Good pop. Then we Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. He's there. Well, they gave him a title, didn't they? Like ring. He was like the timekeeper or some yeah, shit. He's big, there. Big pop for Steamboat. Uh, Bucks come out. They have on boxing robes with suit. Uh, themed gear under it. It was cool. Uh, Darby comes out. He turns around and he looks at the screen and we get this uh, phenomenal video package. Um, a lot more stuff than the previous uh, video package as far as content included in it. Yeah. I got some pictures, which uh, I'm I'm sure flew under the radar of copyright. But yeah, it was it was really touching. Uh, it closed out with Sting saying, um, it's showtime. And this is the last show time. Let's do this. I'm uh, not. I'm not gonna lie. That one almost yeah, fucking got me. Yeah, that yeah. one. And then out comes uh, Surfer Sting, and it's one of his sons, which uh, was cool. Nice pop, dude. Red, white, both blue. Of, and then out comes uh, Wolfpack Sting. Let me just say, these boys should go, especially Wolfpack Sting's son. I don't know which son that is or his name, but he's Wolfpack Sting's son, and he was flying. We'll talk about that later. Yeah. Uh, so those two walk on the stage to pay homage to their dad, and then out comes Sting and his. Regular Sting affair. But hold on. The, the big thing. So all of his other music was trademarked through either TNA or WWE. Mm -hmm, right. But they got a hold of Metallica to use Seek and Destroy, which low-key, probably one of my favorite Sting theme songs. Absolutely. I would have liked to get that, like a mashup of his theme songs, but all the other companies didn't want to play ball. No, not at all. Which, really, if you think about it, it's kind of bullshit. Hey, we, hey, what's another, another video, all right? We got, we got stuff to say about it. This we is do. about the match. The match was phenomenal. Um, Sting came out. Him and Darby dominated early. They took it right to the Bucks. And um, the Suns were getting involved. Yeah, dude, the Suns were in there. Stinger splashing the Bucks. Like I said. Setting uh, up tables. Wolfpack Stinger son was throwing himself. Throwing him. From the oh. fucking free throw line at these boys. And he yeah. was... Yeah, this, those boys should get in the ring. I mean, they look like a million bucks. They look like they could. Anyways, so that part happens, um, and then they start fighting into the crowd. Yep, fighting all over the arena. Fight up onto the stage. Two big bumps. You want to tell us what those bumps were, Scott? God, so there was a falcon arrow uh -huh. to Darby Allen through a set of tables. Mm -hmm. 
Sting took a suplex through a set of tables. Sting, it, Sting was out for a little bit after yeah, this. And around the and also this is where the sun just disappeared. I don't yeah, know. It, it did, wasn't really explained. That was probably the weirdest part of the match. They yeah, just disappeared. They got in the crowd. Like once the the fight went in the crowd, the suns like just were gone. But and it's you fine. never saw them again. But it's fine. It was fine. Yeah, it no, was no big was. deal. Wolfpack Sting Sun needs to be in the Wolf, ring now. Wolfpack Sting Sun was sign that man. We need all the week graphic right now. Wolfpack Sting Sun. Well then the the spot that will be talked about, I think it's going to overshadow this whole thing. Mm. It, it was probably the scariest bump I've seen in some time. Darby is on top of what was probably 18, a, 20 foot, maybe higher foot possibly. ladder that was already inside of a ring. Yeah. So it's even higher than that. Does a, does the coffin drop? No, the swan's on, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, he did a swan. swan. He was trying to swan. swan okay, swan because on. Nick Jackson was there, but then last second, Matt Jackson pulls him out. Swipe. But he didn't just land on a sea of chairs. No, there is a pane of glass. Real, real, real glass. Real glass. Real glass. Go cry, cry me a fucking river. Yeah. Real glass. Darby's back shredded. Blood it everywhere. It looked like Deadpool without the body. Yeah, he looked like he went through a cheese grater factory. Like he just got. And it was not Gouda. Up. Not Gouda at all. Right down the Dwayne Eskin went. Oh, <laughs> he was. That was a unquestionably the the scariest bump mm-hmm. i have ever seen and he was down take. for a minute after that yeah. too, and it was believable at one point we we're like is he even out there anymore because the camera didn't cut to him after this thing got back in the ring with the bucks and he started you oh, know he went hogan mode he brother. started doing sting stuff man he's Stinging beating on up, his dude. chest howling to the night um the no bucks sold hit, everything no sold all everything. the young bucks finishers no bucks hit him with 37 knees to the face pretty sure they knocked out some teeth because he was missing like. some chompers in the front. Yeah. Um, Mouth was all busted all open. All busted. But in the end, kind of surprisingly, Darby comes say, back. Darby comes back. That was surprising because he kind we of died. He would, he's dead. Um, that was a bigger comeback than Kyle O'Reilly. Yeah. Yeah. Who was really sad, which we don't know why. Yet, he but. was devastated. But uh, <laughs> Darby comes back. Coffin drop. Scorpion death lock. Tap out. Tap, tap. Sting and Darby retain, and Sting rides off in the sunset. Undefeated. Undefeated, undefeated. in AEW, and the crowd just gave him what he deserved and, and for a good, like, four minutes. And then Darby grabs the mic, and he, he, he lets us know, we got three minutes, I think is what he said. Yeah, we got three minutes, so let's uh let's give Sting all we can. And, and then Sting got time cued. Here's the thing. I, I want to take a moment. <sighs> right now to sincere as a fan of sting a uh, long time fan i i want to give thanks to tony khan and AEW for how they handled sting mm-hmm. they made him feel like a big deal and they gave him the retirement send-off that he justly deserved wwe just mocked the shit out of sting and took every shot that they could at the monday night wars they never made it about sting mm-hmm. AEW made it about sting and for that I'd like to say thank you to Tony Khan and Absolutely. to AEW. Yep. They handled it uh, as well as they could with the restraints they were given from other companies, to be honest. That being said, they got stuff from, like, Japan. They had plenty of Japan footage. Yeah. Um, I think they had some pictures from WCW days, but maybe because For of, sure. There was a picture of him and Flair from the last Nitro. They zoomed snuggles. in. They yeah. zoomed in on those two. No WCW ring. No. But I, I do want to point out there were some people that were unhappy about this being a tag team match, about this involving the Young Bucks. I do want to point out Sting did not start off as a singles competitor. He started off in a tag team mm-hmm. with the Ultimate Warriors. So it's very poetic that Sting's final match was in a tag and he, team. He chose the Bucks. That was his yeah. hand pick option. I had read he wanted to lose. I, I, that was that was rumor and hearsay is that Sting wanted to lay down and do the jobs. So I'm 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 assuming either Tony Khan put down his foot and said, "Hey brother, you're too important for this. We can just we can relinquish the straps." Uh, yeah. We'll stay on Tony Tony loves a tournament. We're gonna get a tag team tournament out of this. So if that is true, true, also kudos to Tony for mm-hmm. you know you going, "Hey brother, you're going yeah, over. This you're, is your last." You're the icon. You're one of the biggest stars that wrestling's seen in the last like 40 years. You're going out on top. And right? it, I don't. I mean, it might be, and maybe, well, maybe this is too far, but it might be one of the best retirement matches of all time. You can't count Flair's because he didn't retire. You can't count the other big one is you can't count Shawn Michaels because we didn't really know mm. that was the end. But 
on the topic of this being what Sting wants, I want to play a clip for everybody from our podcast with Eric Bischoff. Eric Bischoff did have some words about it. I want to play it for you. Okay. I hope that however Sting's final match goes, that it's everything Sting wants it to be. What I want it to be or what the fans want it to be, what the fans want it to be is important. I know it's probably important to Sting. I haven't talked to him about it. But if Sting can walk away at the end of that match, if, if when the match is over, he can look out into the crowd at, at current count, I think there'll probably be 20-some-odd thousand people there. Um, if he can look out into that crowd and be happy with himself, be satisfied with his career, more importantly, be satisfied with writing the last sentence in the last chapter of Sting's story. If Sting's happy with it, man, I'm thrilled with it. That's all. So I, I think Eric summed it up best there by saying if Sting's happy with it, we should be happy with it. it and from that post-match promo, that's definitely the first yeah, I got. Sting, he's, Sting so felt... he's ecstatic about it. Um, yeah. And the, the big thing is, again, I, I want to circle back to the Seth Rollins match. We thought that was, again, that was it for Sting. And he didn't get a say in how he was going to go out. Yeah. And somebody of Sting's stature of his caliber, 100%, he should have had say on how he goes out from the entrance to the finish and everything in between. Mm -hmm. And AEW gave that to him. And I, they've done a Absolutely. tremendous job. Mm -hmm. And if this was the last time we ever see Sting in professional wrestling, I highly doubt it. But I think from an in-ring in oh, yeah. perspective, this is the last time we see Sting. He has nothing to be ashamed of from this run. And really, I think he proved a lot of people wrong on the way out. Yeah, Absolutely. Got sure. it. He still got a chant from the crowd uh, as he was being played off. Uh, absolutely amazing. I hope other companies uh, take note of this is how you send a wrestler off. No political bullshit in the back of, oh, I'm trying to put, like, yo, know, a career should pay homage to the career. You know, I understand sometimes you want to put over younger superstars and all that, but especially when you have someone of Sting's caliber, because I don't, I don't want to make this a negative thing, but I think back to a Kurt Angle retirement match, and and what that could have been, and what he meant to the wrestling world. He should have had something like this. And so, hope, Baron Corbin. So hopefully, <laughs> other wrestling companies, wink, wink, Triple H, uh, take note of like. You know, this this feels special, and this is how it should feel. It should be like a celebration of the journey of a man's career, and that's what we had tonight with Sting. 100%. And, uh, guys, as we wrap this up, I want to take this moment again to remind everybody that we have a very, very important collaboration coming up on this channel. We are going to be joined by the one and only Chris Van Vliet. That's right. My man. Looking Van Vliet. handsome. Coming Look at up. Him. Coming up on a future episode here. Date has not been decided yet, but I definitely want to thank Chris for taking time out of his schedule to join us. Absolutely. It's going to be a phenomenal, phenomenal episode, and we're looking forward to having Chris on the podcast. Yes, sir. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it. We've had an incredibly late night, and oh, yeah. thank you guys for watching, liking, subscribing. We love and appreciate you guys. And for all of us here at Heated Shenanigans Podcast, we will see you on the next episode. Keep muted.